I'm 3 News Now's Isabella Basco. Council Bluffs residents are so determined to keep Bond Street open, they're taking legal action against the city of Council Bluffs. Well, I think the citizens feel that they haven't been heard on the issue. Because they want the city council to acknowledge um, that this street is important to them and at least hear them out on the issue. Attorney Allison Canney says city council's actions violated city and state code. She says under Iowa law, you have to find that the street has no benefit to the community. This is not a vacant street. It is used by residents. Um, and I think that's evidenced by the fact that we have a committee who has now established themselves to keep this street open. It is very important to the community. Initially, City Council denied the YMCA's application to vacate Bond Street. However, a council member made a motion to reopen it and another hearing was held to approve the project. Our issue with that is that they didn't follow the notice requirements. They're required to notify the community that there's going to be this second vote. Um, and we also don't see any change in the substance of what they were considering beyond the fact that the YMCA offered to pay a certain amount of money for this project. One resident, Tony Baraldi, explains why he's spearheading the effort to keep Bond Street open. It's my neighborhood. It's my home. I've lived there for 27 years, I believe. I hope to live there another 30 years. It's my home. It's important to me. Beraldi and Candy are hoping to send a firm message to City Council. Currently, we're trying to get back on the agenda in front of the City Council to be reheard um, or have an opportunity to actually be heard since they had this second um, hearing without notifying anyone. Mayor Matt Walsh says he doesn't expect this issue to come before City Council again. City Council has come to um, their final decision. They, th they think that the issue is done with. Um, they vacated the street and they plan to deed it to the YMCA and the city council does not want to discuss it further. Still, Baraldi is determined to fight his good fight. You listen to the people that you're leading. You listen to them and we don't feel that's happening. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.